All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today. Before we start our topic, I just received this uh, news, uh, which is, uh, you know, nothing really new. Uh, it is very uh, clear evidence of the nature of the cult of Islam. Uh, this Septink <clears throat> website report the news today that inmate in jail in England in in, in London uh, when you get in jail like the, the Muslim gangs the first thing they will do they will come to you and they will force you to convert to Islam or they will beat the hell of you and what is make it more you know uh, disgusting that the British government are reporting this I mean you report what about you do something about it so it says it clearly and even if you are a rich person if you are wealthy the gang <coughs> the, the, the the criminals uh, who they are Muslim supposedly according to this uh, news they will ask you to make a deposit monthly deposit every month otherwise they will even maybe uh, you know go far and kill you so uh, it's really disgusting to see what's happening in England uh, and and yet we have a uh, we have a mayor in London who claimed that he is uh, he is better than Trump and Trump is dividing people but yet in his own jail <clears throat> because he's in charge and he's a Muslim you see the mayor is in charge of a city whatever happened in that city he is the highest authority so when the mayor is a Muslim and this is happening in his jail and he do nothing about it that's mean this has happened under the authority <clears throat> and the support of Sadiq Khan the Muslim mayor and when this happened when we have a minister for security he's a Muslim too in England look what they have they have a mayor in London and they have the minister of security the internal minister in England he is a Muslim too and we well, thank you for reporting for us that this is happening and did that said that's wonderful so you go in jail right away they force you to convert to Islam convert or else and if you are a person who have money you have to pay us every month a lot of money otherwise there is a consequence and then we hear about this in a news hmm. and what is next this is will stay happening and people who convert to in jail uh, uh, they will be forced to convert but for me I see a, a positive sign here you see when you force people to convert to Islam by beating them inside jail uh, that will not change the fact that later they will leave Islam when they get out of jail and because simply they did not convert you know you force them so you convert them today tomorrow they will expose Islam and they will fight you so bad and actually this is the best way to learn about the beast I mean sometimes you have to go inside the beast to know what is inside the beast so they forced them to convert to Islam but is that going to be successful absolutely not because as you see they've forced him if somebody you know converted voluntarily that mean okay he might stay as a Muslim but he forced somebody to convert to Islam obviously the second the pressure is gone from him he will leave Islam and he will expose you but here you see how stupid this government in England and how stupid those parties in England those who sponsor minister who is supposedly a Muslim and yet this Muslim he knew there is no way that this report would not did not go to the Minister of Security Mr. Sajjad who uh, he met with a Trump and I don't know why Trump he met someone like this who have such a thing in his jail and like is he meeting him because he's doing a good job or maybe he is meeting him to give him blessing to be the coming Prime Minister of England look like Trump is getting to be stupid this that the same as the rest in Europe uh, and where is the government of England I mean how this has happened and this is in the news and the government reporting this look it's not it's not a reporter saying that at least report by the UK government
disgusting. <clears throat> and this is the link for those who would like to share it around or read it by your own. We will post it in the chat so you can take a look. However, for me, this is a very good thing in in the for the purpose of exposing Islam later, because sooner or later those people they are going to go out of jail and they will expose and they will fight badly the cult of Islam. All right. Yes, and you know, like uh, all all those parties, actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, Democrat in USA, liberals, even uh, you know, like uh, Republican, all of them, they are corrupt, and all what they care for is winning election. Nobody cares for his country. There are a bunch of idiot liars. All what they want is just an office, and what the price? Who care? Uh, so to make the Muslims vote for us, I have a cat in my window. Do you think this is the cat of Abu Huraira? I have a cat in my window now and she is looking at me. She, I think she doesn't see me because I am behind the glass. I think she is the cat of Abu Huraira, the one who reports all the story of the Prophet. Hey, meow. You want to join us? You want to say something? Because Muslims believe that cats are clean and dogs are dirty. You want to say something? You want to say thank you to Muslims? <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> uh, well, at the end of the day, I think nothing will will be uh, will happen except what is right. Just wait. All those who do those things, they will pay the price. They will lose election, and people will will get rid of them, and things will change in Europe. I believe things will change in Europe for good. All those things will lead for a good change. European, they were very naive for long. <clears throat> and you know, th there is a reason for you to pay a price of being naive. Because, you see, you don't get immune system unless there is bacteria. So, uh, uh, when when the society is infected with many diseases like corruption, uh, false politics, etc., people, they have reactions sooner or later for that uh, disease. Like now we have a prime minister. She is sick, obviously. You have the whole government there is sick. And European government is not better. But you, you noticed in the last election in Europe, things are changing very fast. For good. Now, <clears throat> our topic today is about the will of Allah. <clears throat> The will of Allah. I will give you an example about how weird the will of Allah is. We spoke just yesterday about how Allah, if He will, He can make you go, you know, by the will of Allah, everybody, there is a destiny. Muslims believe in destiny. And destiny in Islam is not the same as any other destiny. Believe. Destiny means that you are uh, uh, assigned to go to hell or to heaven before He created you. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, if you read with me, all those verses, you can click at each one of them, and you see the numbers are in front of you, even the verses in Arabic. But you can click at, uh, you can go to the verse number and read it. As an example. Why people they fight about religion? Why people fight about religion? Is that our will or this is the will of Allah? According to Muhammad and according to his God, Akka Muhammad, people they fight against each, each other because this is the will of Allah. So if ever you have in history, like in bad, in, in the in ugly time, a Christian themselves, they were fighting each other, which is very disgusting. That is the will of Allah. So in certain day, some filthy, stupid kings, as we see today in Europe, they were fighting each other just for the sake of power, nothing to do with religion, really. And But in the name of religion, we kill each other. In the name of belief. And that, according to the Quran, this is the will of Allah. 
as you see in the front of you. <clears throat> uh, and here we, you know, if you remember yesterday, we have a Muslim, we ask him uh, a question about the will of Allah. You know, the poor the poor kid, he could not uh, give any answer for anything. I think, and by the way, we take the videos down, but you can go to Patreon and you can click at the video, you can see it again. Because people download my videos, it's all over. So still you can always have the video. All what you need to do is search for the last title and filter to the last day uh, in the search engine, change the filter, or go to Patreon and, you know, you click at the link. Uh, Stephen, you want to call me for what reason, my friend? You can call me only if you are a Muslim. If you are not, please don't call. Okay, let us see. We have maybe a Muslim. Let us see here. <clears throat> All right. Does it sound good, guys? This guy said he might talk to me, but he is not answering. Hello? Hello? Are you going to talk? Hmm. Hello? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as -salam. Hello? Yes, who is with us? Hmm. What happened? What happened? Are we going to spend the day? Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, how are you? Hello? I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Mm -hmm. No, no. My voice is coming clear, right? Well, I'm not sure. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as -salam. Do you hear me? Hello. Mm. Do you hear me? You have a genie in the computer. And his voice is very low, right? He is saying there is a delay. I don't know. Well, maybe he is using the neighbor internet as usual, Muslims do. If there is any Muslim would like to call us, please feel free. 
Hello. 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 Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Hello. I hear you. Oh boy. Okay, he want to call me from his phone. It's not working in his computer. It'll give him a chance. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Have patience. Have patience. If you call us now from the phone did not work, we will block him. Uh... Since several Muslims ignore Matt, it is not. Yeah, I did block him already. That one. Anyway, so as you see, the reason if you if you are a person who fight with your own or any people, any religion, they fight together. Allah is the one who make them fight, and here is specifically Allah. Is speaking about Allah, He is making the Christians fight after Jesus. It is Allah will to make them kill each other. And actually, if you go in different verse in the Quran, that is confirmed in chapter 5, verse number 14, where Allah He said clearly that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians specifically until the judgment day. So we planted amongst them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. This is why me as a, as a person, as a Christian prince, I always uh, label those who divide the Christians, doesn't matter who they are, as servants of the devil, which his name is Allah. We know there is so, so many naive Protestant or Catholic, they do that exactly. They serve Allah without knowing. Yes? Hello? 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 Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, let's block you then. Get out. Just playing games. Any Christian doesn't matter what is your church name. You divide the Christians, you are serving the devil. You are a Catholic or a Protestant, you are serving the devil. You are you don't know Christ and you have nothing to do with the Christ. And the message is in front of you. This is why I don't allow people to divide us. It's a very stupid of us to follow the plan of the devil, divide and conquer. We are strong when we are united. We are weak when we are divided. And there is many false Christians who claim that they are defending Christianity by throwing rocks at each other, but the fact they are just giving a chance to the enemy to go between us. A true Christian will not do that. Now, speaking about our topic, that if Allah will, Christians will not fight, but not only for the Christians, Allah will involve in all evil happen in this earth. We showed you yesterday how Allah He made and He forced Adam to commit sin. So Allah He forced him to commit sin and then He wanna punish him for committing sin. And that is shown us that the one who wrote the religion or the author of this religion is mentally ill. <clears throat> he have an idea that his God is a very smart God to the point uh, 
he will make us commit sin and then he will punish us for committing sin actually there's a hadith where Muhammad he said let us show you let us find it <clears throat> Read this, then you will understand what we are talking about. The Messenger of Allah said, By the one in whose hand my soul, were you not commit to commit sin, Allah would replace you with people who would commit sin. Actually, translation is false. Let us go down a little bit. He will destroy you, not only replace you. Not only replace you. Saying this is the correct one. Muhammad saying, By him who is hand is my life, Allah hand. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you by those who would commit sin and ask for forgiveness. Hmm? Do you see it? This is how stupid this cult is. And here you will see that this God, he is just having fun. He don't really care for us. He's just having fun. You know, he's bored. Why you don't commit sin? You don't commit sin, I will destroy you. And this is totally the opposite of the concept of God. That God, he reward those who commit no sin and he punished those who commit sin but as you see here Allah he is interested in the bad ones criminals he liked them more if you don't cheat if you don't commit adultery if you do not lie if you don't steal if you don't rape Allah will sweep you out of this earth Allah did not make you to be a good person Allah don't like good people Allah like evil and all of this to serve one thing his echo he liked to be asked for forgiveness like so I go now and kill say please Allah forgive me and you know so this is the whole purpose this God is mentally ill the whole purpose of this madness I want you to sin and then you cry if you don't sin you want to cry You know, there are some sick people, they have animals. They have animals. And in order to humiliate this animal, to make them obey, what they do? They make them go in hunger. And then the dog, he will start wipe, like, you know, going between your feet and wiping himself with you and like crying for you, like, please feed me, etc. And the owner, he enjoy it, for he is the devil. That's exactly what Allah He want. If you have no sin, so what He have against you? Nothing. But look what happened. If you commit no sin, not uh, not only like Allah will not be upset upset from you, and like that's it. He will destroy you. He will kill you. So the purpose of Allah having us, according to the Quran, according to Muhammad is to play his board he want people to commit sin and every morning they say please god forgive us we commit sin but if work he wake up in the morning and there's nobody asking for forgiveness that's a very bad news and that is a clear evidence how sick this cult is who of you believe that god he like us to commit sin and the purpose is to ask for forgiveness any Muslim agree with that? Allah is a sadist. You are right. Allah is a sadist. Because obviously, 
he have a he have a mental issue he enjoy he have a fantasy his fantasy is you need to do something wrong so he enjoy beating you torturing you in the same time you beg for forgiveness maybe it's kind of a sexual fantasy in the same time and if there is a Muslim he don't agree please let me know I mean it's obviously it's a clear evidence that Allah is nothing but a satanic creature if he exists you will punish me if I don't commit sin not only you will punish me you will destroy me and here you notice that Muhammad is a absolutely is a liar when he caught the story of Noah because the story of Noah people they've been swept out of the existence because they commit sin not the opposite so he copied a story from the Bible from a book which is not his claiming it to come from his God but as you see the concept of the God of Islam does not match with the concept of the God of Christianity the goal the target the nature everything in the God of Islam is different right no no this is have nothing to do with Calvinism don't, don't mix things up Cal, Calvinism have nothing to do with this because here you see that he will destroy you anyway if you don't commit sin there's not there's two sides of the story you know use your brain there is only only Allah he enjoy those who commit sin Calvinism tend to not don't believe in that so he wants you to commit sin Don't make things up. And then how we can believe that this person is God? Only Muslims, please, can call me. only Muslims can call me and the reason we say only Muslims can call me because we don't want to do a monologue we want to do a dialogue where somebody he present the other belief he can refute us not two Christians agree in something that's not the purpose of what I do okay he's saying he is a Muslim so give me a second please All right, let us call him. Maybe it's the same guy. I think it's the same guy, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. He was using the internet of the neighbors. The neighbor Wi Fi. Once we uh, like, we rented uh, like a small place temporarily, and the guy is a Muslim, he says, We have a free internet. So I asked him, Okay, what is the code? Uh, he said, Well, the neighbor he changed his code uh, last week. Let me see what is the new code. I said, How do you know? He said, my wife, she go to his house and she asked the wife as if she is going to search for something and they get the code from the wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a free internet.
Any Muslim who have a free internet would like to call me? So what kind of God this God is? I bought a new uh, uh, headset because the old one, you know, those cushion in the top, they are ruined up from long time ago. And it's hurting my ears, but this one is a new one is bad too. Let me go back to the old one. <laughs> oh boy. Look like that will not work. All right, spend money for nothing. That's better. So, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim want to explain to us how in the world this is, can be true? But beats, what is that? Is that the name of a headset? But beats. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I will search it. But beats. I search for it in Google. I see only like a music band. What is that? Okay, let us see. Hits. $119. I mean, me? You want me to spend $119? Okay, let me, let me see what is the code of the neighbors. Hold on. <laughs> 119 dollars you want me to buy it are you serious i will not buy even allah himself for five cents even for free 119 what do you think i am i think those guys i think they are they think i'm rich like buy this yeah okay i'm going to buy it right away 119 dollars why i mean why why does it, does it come with a wife? <laughs> I really don't. I mean, what is that, man? What's what's wrong? Oh boy. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, this is CP, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. I was looking online and I found your uh, resources very interesting. Uh, I just want to talk to talk to you about something. All right. So you are a Muslim, right? Uh, yes. Okay. What does that I mean? Tried, I, I tried to, I tried to uh, get back to you three, like three minutes ago, but I couldn't. Yeah, you're no problem. So what do you want to say to <coughs> Mr. Majid? Ah! That's it? Okay, the prophet he said that a Muslim man he might deliver a child in the heaven. If you wish to have a baby, he will be breaking it and he will deliver it in less than 15 minutes. So I think it was time for you. I mean, it hurt. Everybody heard it. Everybody heard it. It hurt badly. What you can do? Do you believe really that Muhammad was being truthful that you will deliver a baby and you are a man? So this guy, he was delivering a baby, but where the baby is coming from, I'm not sure. I think this is why it was hurting very bad. I 
Many yani Muslims can explain to us how you will desire a baby and you will be pregnant and you will deliver it in less than an hour. By the way, in Arabic, it says sa. Sa at the time of Muhammad, it was less than 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes max. So you will deliver a baby from where? Okay, you know what? Allah, He will make you deliver a baby but from where? The baby will come out from where? I give you options from your ears, from your nose, from your mouth, from your <coughs> from where? No comment. Allah is almighty, brother. Yeah. And by the way, who is the one who's going to make you uh, carry a child? I mean, what, what happened? You slept with somebody? So you're a man, and you slept with somebody, and then he made uh, boom, boom, bang, bang. Hmm. No, no, no. We don't want this uh, kid ultimate truth. He's a donkey. We want something smart. I mean, from all the Muslims in the world, we could not get something except this this donkey. He's a kid. He don't even know what the muta is. One kahu, one kahu, one kahu. All Muslims who contradict the Quran, they are liars. The Prophet he contradicted the Quran. All the hadith of your prophet is opposite from the Quran. Your prophet said you pray five times. The Quran says you pray, pray three. Your prophet, he says, uh, uh, the Quran says do muta. The prophet says don't do muta. <laughs> oh boy! It is somebody. Somebody he have a he have a brain, not somebody an idiot straight boy. Any brave Muslim? Anyone? Who want to explain to us this madness? That if you don't commit sin, Allah will kill us. Why? Anyone? Yes, Yo. Hello. Hello. Yes, Abdul. How are you? <coughs> As you do very soon. What happened? Oh, yo. What? Uh, brother, brother. Um, I, I have to. But you, you gotta let me speak, man. Because yesterday, I, I, I um, forward to my. Uh, he, he was He was a smart Muslim. He went in and he destroyed you in the topic. <laughs> He destroyed me. Stop. So he destroyed I don't me. think you're ready for my sheikh. I don't think you're ready for my sheikh, man. Because if my sheikh debates you, then uh -huh. it's over. Uh huh. As I remember, <laughs> your 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 brother, he could not answer anything. Or what he said to me, he said exactly as you said. He will check it out. Yo, what you, you mean? What you mean? Do you want me to he play it you, back? Is, is this something we can the video, the video is there. People are laughing at you. What are you talking about? It, the guy, he could not answer anything. And not only that, he he was really a fool. He was he was a certified fool because we showed him that Allah will come to you in a shape and yet he says no Allah will not come in a shape Allah prophet says oh, the Allah will come to you in a shape he says no he is not a shape so you send me want someone is a fool are you a fool like him do you, do you oh, agree God. hold on hold on let me, let me show you how fool both of you because if you if you think he was a smart then you are a fool when the prophet he says Allah will come to you in a shape are you saying that Allah prophet is a liar you agree with him hmm. now uh, look my prophet my prophet may say Allah is a shape but it, it's not something like we think it's a shape ah so it's a shape but it's not a shape so it's a, you know he is a box but he's at a box he said it's a shape who are you who to say what do you mean he is not me he don't mean a shape so why he used the word shape 
So he wanted to say shape, but he don't mean shape. I mean, who is the stupid here? And you are saying to me that you, both of you are smart? How Allah Prophet, he says, that what? Allah will come to you in a shape. And you say to me, well, it is, says a shape, but it's not a shape. Who is the donkey here? <coughs> okay. Um. Uh, what? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. You, you are the one who told me that your brother, he refused to me. It was so amazing. <laughs> So no 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 what 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 what, 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 what the answer? What is the answer? Brother, put listen. I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. All of you are a bunch of idiots. I mean, your prophet says Allah will come to you in a shape. He says to me, Allah is not a shape, and that is a smart for you that he refuted me. This is how you refute me. No. So what you no, mean? What you are saying? What do you mean by saying he he's, he's, he's a smart? Hmm? Well, well, let me let me talk, man. Come on, just talk. You talk to me. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, okay, man. Okay. So, so if um, if in the Bible in Old Testament it says God sees, it doesn't mean He have eyes. It just says sees, but we don't know how He sees, how He knows hold that on, He doesn't have hold ears. On. No, to hold ears on, of... hold on. You see. If you're a prophet, he says Allah have two eyes. That means he have two eyes. So you cannot say he don't have eyes. So Allah, he have eyes. Didn't your Allah prophet say that your prophet is not one eyed? Uh, hey, wait until the Sheikh comes, okay? No, 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 wait, wait. You told me. No, man, wait until the Sheikh. Yesterday, just now. Where you go? Where you go? You told me you're a prophet. You got me busted. You're 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 a bro <laughs> you're a brother. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> but you're a prophet says that Allah is not one eyed, and the other guy is two eyes. One of them is damaged, so Allah have two eyes. All the Muslims refute me. I mean, uh, the, the the recording is there. People are dying from laughing. Allah have a shape. Muhammad said he have a shape. Muslim they say uh, 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 if the Prophet said, 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 said that they have a shape, but that, that, that doesn't mean he have a shape. So, so, so what, what, what does it mean? It means he have a car. If you're a prophet says Allah ha have eyes, that means he ha have eyes, and he is e even counting them. If you're a prophet said that Allah Prophet Allah God Allah, have a five fingers, that there are fingers. Even he said five fingers. So he have five fingers, but they are not fingers. What they are? Carrot? Zucchini? But relax. I'm relaxing. We are having fun. My sister Caroline, don't you see we are having fun? Brother, yesterday they refuted you, and you are not ready to debate my mama shake. Yeah. You're right. Your God, Allah cannot even talk to me. Shish kebab religion. <clears throat> Who's next? And not only that, you're a prophet. You describe your God as a fat guy with big butt. And I don't know why really he have a big butt. But maybe it's more comfortable to think about it. I mean, you have a big, the, the butt is a cushion to sit in it, and Allah is big. This is why they call him Akbar, right? Akbar in Arabic means bigger. Have you ever heard of a God? He is Akbar. How you can say that? And the Muslim translate this here Akbar means the greater. The word the greater itself is a stupid because the second you say greater, that's mean you are you know, comparing him to us. Is it greater than what? A big, an ant, a human? Or what a greater? And you are not that for, for, for my sheikh? We are right. This is why they are not calling me. You are, you are, you are, you are not ready. 
And the second I, 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 I corner him, he, he, he hang up. Who, who, who's, who's next? This is what, what, what I did in the army. Uh, the, the, the sergeant, he said, we want someone to, to, to read, read the names. So he gave me the papers and I, I said, John, I said, oh, give, me, give, me, give me the paper, give me, give, go back, go back. I don't like to read the names. Stand in the front and reading all the names. We, we have like a 300 soldiers read the names. It will take you two, two years to read the names for you. Who is a Muslim would like to, 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 to call me? As you see, I'm very nervous. Uh, any uh, 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 one? What national army? Uh, USA. I joined the USA army and the surgeon was screaming at me. He says, what kind of army is accepting people don't speak English? You know, he asked me to, to go in the mud and I said to him, no English. He said, what? And you know, like they scream in your face, they get so close to your face. He said, what are you saying? He said, no English. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, seriously, how they can accept somebody in the army don't speak English? <laughs> At night, he come to the room, like the soldier room, and he found me speaking about Islam. And suddenly the room went so quiet. And nobody is moving I noticed there is something wrong he was just behind me and he hold me from my shirt he said no English huh follow me <laughs> no English no English <clears throat> yeah actually I saw a guy a few years after he don't he don't remember my name but he says hey no English how are you doing <laughs> He don't remember my name. <laughs> he remember only no English. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, no English. So do we have any Abdul? Here we go. Chris is going to sue me for his stomach. His stomach is hurting because of me. He will tell his wife, now I cannot wash dishes for you because a Christian prince, he made my stomach hurt. Yo, we say in my G. Hello? We say in my G. What? Kifak. Hello? Kifak. Speak Marhaba, to me. Speak to, speak to me. Kifak. Are you a kid or you are a Muslim? I'm a Muslim. All right. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, remember me. Uh, no, I don't remember really. I, I called you a while ago. Okay. What do you want to say to us? And, and we, we were debating. Ooh, me and you. Yes. All right. And what do you want to say to us today? And you spanked me really bad, and I want revenge now. Mm, okay. Come. What's, what's the topic? I'm ready. What is the topic? Yes. Mm, what topic you like to talk about? Uh, last time, last time we talked. Uh, we, last time we talked about um, violence in Islam. About violence. And no, today we are not talking yeah. about violence. Today we are talking about that uh, the prophet he says in the heaven of allah a muslim man he will deliver a baby a muslim man will deliver a baby okay and mm -hmm. what's the problem with that well he will be in the heaven he who is in, going to in make the heaven you, of allah everything is possible who is the one who's going to make you have the baby like you sleep with somebody and he will make you breathe yes in the heaven of allah everything is possible okay so somebody want to sleep with you Everything is possible. Okay, so he will deliver a sperm inside you and that will make you carry a baby. That's what you are saying. Yeah, but we're not gonna be humans in heaven. What you will be That's what you will be in the heaven. It's um it's behind comprehension. We cannot understand now. But no one knows but the it answer says, to that. It's it says if you desire to have a child, so you will have a child. So what do you mean about a human? Child. Child and bed net and delivery, it's a human thing. Well, does it say does it say if a man wants to have a um yeah it says it's if a man yes is a shtahar mu'minu, you know yeah yeah show me show me the Arabic well here we go it's in front of you I can only see the English hmm. do you see mm. it 
Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So I'm not sure about that. Read for me, read for me. As long as you know Arabic, read, let us read. <clears throat> My Arabic is not that good. A second ago you said show me in Arabic. No, no, I I can understand, but I'm I'm not good at um okay, you know, speaking. Okay, it. what is the first word you see in the screen? Read it for me. Uh the first the, the first word is jiggy jiggy. Jiggy jiggy. Uh, okay. I know it's him. Stupid idiot. Hmm. Stupidity. No, I know it because he always changes his voice, try to change his voice. The second you notice that somebody's trying to change his voice, it means he's, he's, a, <laughs> he's a potato. But we are bored. Who okay. care? Another donkey. Any brave? Anyone? Nobody? As you see, you know, people, Muslims, they don't have really any knowledge of religion. And the second you ask a very simple question, they are in trouble. This is a religion is based on like repeating, reciting, memorizing, but nobody understand what he is talking about. And those who claim to have knowledge, they are the biggest liars because they have none. There we go. We are live on air. That guy, uh, Mirza, he says to me, he will call his sheikh. Where is your sheikh? He got me a kid yesterday. He could not answer anything. And not only that, he, it was embarrassing for what he said to your prophet. Could you tell us how to prove that the cursed and misguided in Al-Fatiha are the Jews and the Christians? That's very simple, my friend. Because the Quran, the Quran, in chapter 1, verse number 7, it says here, the way of those who whom you have bestowed your grace, not those who earned your anger, nor those who went astray. So there is two people only in the Quran, earned the anger of Allah. Both of them actually are Christians and Jews, but the one who Allah He cursed is the Jews, and the one who went astray is the Christians. But if you think, if you like, uh, in the Quran is a very silly book, because Allah He was angry from both, and Allah He cursed both. Uh, the Christians are cursed to be the Christian and the Jews are cursed to be nice, supposedly according to Islam. Muhammad He wanted to explain why the Christians are nice people, so He says, "Kuti but Ali Allah, he made them, he made the destiny to be humiliated. If you go here, in chapter 3, verse 112, and chapter 3 is about the Christians and the Jews. Uh, so Allah is saying here that Allah, he made a destiny for the Christians to be uh, humiliated and that because they are you know they disobey Allah you can change the translation if this one you don't like same time if you get when I get more confirmation that this is about the Jews and the Christians you can go to all the seal of Muslims and you will see all of them with no exception agree that the one who they are cursed is the Jews and the one who they are lost is the Christians with no Question all of them agree All right So there is no need really to prove it. I mean it's something This is what Islam is about You can go to website like at tafsir.com If it's working because this is a website run by the government of uh, of Jordan and nothing really work in Jordan as usual 
no water, no electricity, and the king himself is a shish kebab. So if you go, chapter 1, verse number 7, read the interpretation, you will see right away it says the Christians and the Jews. So there is no need to prove it as like as if it's a challenge to prove. All right? This is nothing need to prove, really. It is just in the front of our eyes. And this is the link if you like to read. CP need to support Pastor David Lean. I, I, why I need to support him? Why he need my support? Why I need his support? Let him do what he need to do. Do we have any Muslim here? <clears throat> he's a kid. He's a he's a Nigerian kid. This is a street boy. We gave him a chance to talk to us many times, and each time he's stupid. He is, you know. There is one thousand video. He called me. He's a joker. Why Waraka told Muhammad that he is a prophet, and he met Jibril. Waraka is supposed to be Christian. And read the Bible, and why would made uh, uh, he made Muhammad a prophet? Waraka is the real father of Muhammad. Waraka ibn Nawfal is the real father of Muhammad. Say, uh, in, in the same time, Waraka is not a Christian. Waraka is Nasara. He was a leader of a cult. He converted to the Nasara by Rahib Wahira. And Rahib Bahira was kicked out from his church for being Nasara, like Jehovah's Witnesses. So when the Muslims, they say that the Quran mentioned the Christian in the Quran, in fact, you will not find, not a single time, the word the Christian in the Quran. Not even once. The only name they have there is Nasara, and Nasara are not Christians. So you will see here, that Waraka, if you read this hadith with me, let us see here. What happened with this thing? Hold on. You will see here it says that Waraka, he was writing a Bible. And Waraka is not really Khadija cousin, as they say. Let us say he is from the side of the family, but he is not a cousin. Here you will see it says. His name is Waraka ibn Nawfal ibn Asad ibn Abdul Uzza ibn Qusay. So he's from the same family at the Muhammad at the end of the day. They are one tribe. Waraka was the son of her paternal uncle, i.e. his father brother, who during the pre-Islamic period, become Nasara, not Christian. And he used to write in Arabic, writing. And he used to write of the gospel in Arabic. That is a false book, Waraka was writing. And this is what the Quran is. So Muhammad is the maid of Waraka, and I believe that behind the marriage of Muhammad to, uh, to Khadija, it was Waraka too. Waraka, he is the real father. He was sleeping with the mother of Muhammad. This is why he sent his sister to offer 100 camel. As the Muslim claim, I don't believe this story. I mean, 100 camel. A woman, she want to offer a guy 100 camel to sleep with her. I assure you that Muhammad's father will sleep with her even for a, for, for a, for a chocolate. What one had the camel? And when he told her he will go to, to Amina, the mother of Muhammad, and he will come back, which means to sleep with Amina first. And obviously, Muhammad's father, based on the Muslim reference, he was a jigolo. You know what jigolo, right? Jigolo is somebody you offer him money for sex. Otherwise, why she is offering him money? You tell me. Why a woman offering a man money to sleep with her? 
and they are negotiating how much and why Muhammad father is expensive I mean is he like he was a very uh, uh, what they call them those stood stud he was a good stud I mean why she is paying too much money 100 camel will make you rich it's like uh, uh, 100 camel is like 100 car imagine 100 ca camel is like 100 car so a woman she is offering a man to sleep with her 100 car No, no, I heard of David. I think I saw once a video of him. My point is why he need my help. Why you think he need my help? He is doing good. He want to learn from me. He's welcome. How I can support any one of you? I'm, I'm, I'm like, how, how I can support Christians more than what I do? What I can do more? Every day I am with you. And then you ask me, support this guy. How I can support him? Rich, I am not. What I would do? So this is what I can support all of you, share my knowledge with you and arm you with answers. Right? Do you agree with preaching with loudspeaker? No, my friend, you should use a mute speaker. Mute is better, I mean. You're asking questions like the Muslims. Brother, is it halal to eat ice cream? I mean, who cares if it's a speaker or if it's not? This is the this is the point. The point is preaching, not the point is speaker. You are doing exactly like the Muslims now. Hey brother, can I shave under my arm, brother? Right? Who care? Just do it. If the location is noisy and people will not hear you without a speaker, microphone, you use microphone. If it is not, there's no need. Right? Why you can't stream in one, two month time? Stream for a Christian who do have ask questions. Okay, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm, I'm answering your questions. What I'm doing right now, I'm reading your text, answering you. I mean, I mean, it's impossible to make a human uh, being happy. So what I'm doing now, even I'm, I'm reading all the text, even the silly ones. So what I'm doing here? All what I'm doing here, I'm saying, why you are not asking uh, Christians uh, questions? Oh boy. So what we are doing here, Billy dancing? David get arrested by the by by uh, gay police. Why they arrested him? <laughs> Don't worry. So what if he's arrested? He will get out. Yeah, not a big deal. My friend, the the when when you go, I'm sure he himself he don't really care. Those things they help him. They don't. They are not against you. Like now, all of you, you will support him more. Is that correct? Okay, that's wonderful. So here we go. God, he work in a mysterious way. They think they can mute us. It work in a different way. Do you understand what I'm saying? They think they are fighting us, but the fact is the opposite. Here we go, YouTube. Each time I make a video, I can't even keep it there for two hours. Have you ever heard of somebody, his video can't stay there for two hours? Uh, people they asking me why you keep taking your videos back it, it's not going to stay there they will take it down it doesn't matter what I say even if I say hello even once I made a video it says hello it's me you're looking for they took it down there was like 40 dislike and uh, uh, 1000 report I just said hello it's me who's you looking for so imagine if I say uh, it's not me who's you looking for I mean, that would be more dangerous. 
So it doesn't matter what we say they are fighting us and my friend that we should not make you give up That should make you stronger. You see they don't throw rocks at an empty tree Nobody throw rocks because there's a fruits there. They want to get the fruits Be proud All right So who is a Muslim would like to call us? And you know the funny here uh, Fadi he asked question That this man who is supposedly a Nasara he told Muhammad that the one he saw him is Jibreel uh, Isn't it this story is stupid proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet? I mean I am the one who saw the the angel and the neighbor of my neighbor of my cousin is the one who told me his name Are you there Fadi? I am the prophet I am being squeezed three times and the angel spoke to me and yet I do not know what's happening I go to my wife and I said to my wife cover me cover me and he was shaking and breaking and he was switching and he was snoring like a mule and then she took him from his hand as if he's a kid and then she took him to who to Waraq uh, ibn Nufa. and Waraq ibn Nufa is expert brother he took the prophet to the laboratory he told him take off your clothes let me see where the angel squeeze you oh I see a mark here this mark is must be the mark of the angel Jibril how this guy he knew that is Jibril what if it's somebody else It might be a gorilla. Seriously, it might be a gorilla was squeezing him. Gorilla did do that. <clears throat> I know if I make a video about yogurt, they will take it down too. It's okay. <coughs> Uh, okay, uh, Harun. Guys, look what Harun uh, Fadi he said. Hmm. Look what he said. He said, but Muhammad, but Jibreel, he saw Muhammad again and again. Is that right? That's false. According to the Quran, Jibreel, he saw Muhammad twice. According to the Quran, Muhammad he saw him. He saw him twice. What do you think, Fadi? Is that true or no? <coughs> you see, the problem is Muslims don't read. I mean, they are just copy paste generation. If you go in the Quran, the chapter of the star, and your prophet was a star worshiper, obviously. That's why he swear by the Lord of the star, which is star he's talking about, Ashara. And then he go down, he says, And then it says here, He saw him twice. That's it. How many fatty? Do you see it? Twice. That's mean all the story of Muhammad is a lie because he saw him only twice. And the second time he saw him where? Next to the, the tree of Allah, which is funny. Because the same verse it says, Nazratun, Nazlatun Ukhra, which means the second descendant, but the tree of Allah is not descendant, it's up, it's not down. How you descend to up? You descend up?
But there is a hadith says, فَلَمَّا وَاتَ وَرَقَ فَطَرَ الْمَحِي So it cannot be uh, from... No, Muhammad, he, you know, according to Muhammad, Atani Jibreel, Atani Jibreel, Atani Jibreel. There's millions of hadiths saying Atani Jibreel. Jibreel came to me. So he, according to Muhammad, he saw him millions of times. And here, as you see, it's twice. Secondly, you see here speaking about Jibreel as if he is his God, because it says, فَأَوْحَى إِلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ مَا أَوْحَى How we are talking about Jibreel coming down, you see, between two brackets, by the way, it doesn't say Jibreel at all in the Quran. This is a translator, because this is how the Muslims supposed to understand it, that this is Jibreel. But in fact, there were nowhere it says Jibreel. But here it says that he convey his inspiration to his slave. How Jibreel he convey? Yet it's all say slave. In the same time, Muhammad he saw Jibreel many times, right? Are you there, Fadi? Muhammad he saw Jibreel many times, but Jibreel he come to him even when he is doing poo poo. And when Muhammad he hear him at night, he run away. Is that right? Have you ever heard of a prophet he run away? And the angel come to him when he is doing poo poo? Can't the angel wait until the prophet finishes his poo, poo I mean, is it the perfect timing? Read carefully with me. You are the one who said he saw him again and again and again. Okay, so why he's flying away from him? The message of Allah, give him peace, blah, 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 blah. Whenever he went out, he used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this voice, this sound, this, he used to flee. Okay, but he saw already Jibreel many times. So why he's fleeing? Are you there? And why Jibreel is coming to him when he's doing poo, -poo? At least wait until the guy, he finishes, you know, he take off, like he took off his panty, he's doing it now. Whenever he went out, like, I mean, come on, let the guy alone. The day is 24 hours. You wait for him until he come out at night to do poo poo. And that's this is why Muhammad is scared. And look what happened again. Waraq ibn Nawfal name appear. Waraq ibn Nawfal said to him, advise the Prophet to remain in his place when the caller call him so he hear what he want to say. I mean, isn't it obvious that the Prophet is Waraqa? Even this one need Waraqa. Waraqa in everything in the life of Muhammad. This is why when Waraka he died, Muhammad tried to commit suicide. Waraka was trying to spread his cult, which is Nasara, in the Arabian Peninsula. And Muhammad religion is nothing but the Nasara. As simple as that. And by the way, it happened to me. I go to the bathroom. Sometimes I hear voices. And I was like worried. But then I noticed that the, the, the faucet in the shower top is leaking. I was saying, who's talking to me? Who's talking to me? Maybe I became a prophet. And I was expecting to be squeezed, but nobody squeezed me. I did not even turn the light on. Maybe think something will happen. Somebody will say to me, oh, Christian. But nobody says that to me. Yeah. Is that a story to be taught by a prophet of God? The God, he want to give him the verses which you Muslims pray five times a day, and the prophet, he flee. And if not, waraqa, the guy will not stop to listen. Okay, well, you flee where? The angel, he cannot flee with you? Maybe Muhammad is faster. Let me make it simple for you. Hold on, hold on, because sometimes we need to use art to explain the art of Islam, the art of a prophethood of Muhammad.
So Muhammad brother, I cannot resist the temptation of my art. I mean, we you cannot you yourself. You cannot resist it. So Muhammad, this is the, the this is the ground of the village of Muhammad. Uh, this is his house. Okay, this is his house. This is his donkey here. Okay. And uh, this is his tail. And the prophet every day he come out to do poopoo, -poo, as everybody. Especially at night, so nobody can see their bum. You know, the prophet is coming, the prophet is coming, and then the, he is here now and he is sitting doing it. Because remember, even the prophet, he used to do not only poo-poo, even pee-pee, he do it sitting. So the prophet now is sitting in the ground, okay? And this is his hand in his pocket. And then the angel Jibreel, he come from the sky. This is Jibreel. He have 600 wings. A lot of wings. Okay. Is very big, Jibreel. And then he said to him, Oh, Muhammad. What he say? Oh, Muhammad. Some story says, it says, Oh, mommy. Oh, Muhammad. And what Muhammad he do? He carry his pants and he start running and going back home. Like what? Okay, Muhammad is running. Can the angel follow him to home? So he ran the first time, second time, third time, and then His Majesty uh, 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 Waraka he said to him, "Okay, why you don't stop?" So look like Muhammad uh, angel. He cannot talk to Muhammad unless he stop. And that's mean Muhammad was running all night. Because even if you go home, why you don't go home, follow him? The angel, he have a message from Allah. And because Muhammad, he run, we don't deliver the message. What kind of delivery? Thank God UBS is not the same. Okay, I need to sign. You are right. Because people they will use it for their own uh, 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 purpose. Muhammad. Muhammad. Hold on. I'm, I'm just finishing the signature. You guys, can you come tomorrow? Because I'm just signing this thing here. Just to be sure that nobody is going to use it for any purpose. I'm just, uh, you know, fighting the. Uh, Ahmed. Al Munjid. Okay. Here we go. We are done. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm getting tired. This is my short name, by the way. Guys, you should go in the Middle East. In the Middle East, every one of us, we have a name like a train. Seriously, our name is like a train. If you see my passport, it's like, like they say, which one is your name? <laughs> hey, brother, this is all my name, brother. Muhammad bin Ahmed bin Ali bin By the time you finish... Uh, We have a lot of fun in the Middle East. First time we have a movie, the Saudi guy, my cousin, by the time he finished saying Assalamu Alaikum, shaking hands, the movie is over. Because we have to shake hands. I mean, this is our tradition. <laughs> I mean, what we can do? You want us to enter a place without shaking hands? We are polite. Assalamu Alaikum, shaking hands. The people, they say to him, sit down, man. We want to watch the movie. Assalamu Alaikum. So now what we would do? 
Fadi is confused. Well, don't worry, Fadi. This is a good sign. Your prophet is confused. He tried to commit suicide. I hope you will not do the same. Don't commit suicide, man. You can jump from the top of the couch, but don't do it like Muhammad. He went to the top of the mountain. Hmm? Any uh, Muhammad then? No Muslims? Can the blood lineage of Muhammad what? The Fadi is asking, can the blood lineage of Muhammad be tracked back to Ishmael? First of all, you know, it's very naive. Muslims don't read. Even your book says that Muhammad is not from Ishmael. Because Muslim book says, if you have my book, The Section of Allah, you will see that according to you, Muslims, Ishmael, he married from the tribe of Jahm. And Jahm is the enemy of the tribe of Quraysh. So if he married from Jam, his children, they will be from Jam. So how they became the father of Muhammad? Quraysh is the enemy. Secondly, Ishmael never been in Mecca. Number three. Uh, Ishmael was a son of an Egyptian woman and an Aramaic man. How his son is an Arab. When the Arab are exist before him. To make it simple for you. I'm going to go tomorrow to uh, Japan and I will marry a Japanese woman who is the stupid he will say that Japanese are the children of a Christian prince just by marrying a Japanese woman the children they follow their father in nationality and the nationality always follow the father which means if Ishmael is son of Abraham he will follow his father nationality not his mother Abraham is not an Arab therefore Ishmael should not be an Arab neither his kids same time the Quran itself says that the prophethood is in the children of Abraham and namely Isaac and Jacob right chapter 29 verse number 27 read carefully with me they are from the children of who the prophethood will be do you see it guys from the children of who the prophethood will be the Quran is speaking Isaac and Jacob So even your Quran is against you. Someone want to debate me? He is welcome, even if he is some too, not someone. So what we will do, we'll do now with the Quran? And why Allah is not mentioning the name of uh, Ishmael here in this verse? So Ishmael was not exist. He should mention Ishmael first because Ishmael is the eldest. We gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Where is Ishmael? Right? Stupidity. How is my friends from Indonesia? By the way, I, I yesterday I look at YouTube. And surprise, surprise, I found that number one people who watch my videos are from Indonesia. Hey! So I am so glad really to see a lot of Indone Indonesian come in watching my videos. That's a very good thing. So now imagine for the first time, people from USA is in the second after Indonesian people. You believe it?
and I'm really proud about them. Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? Uh, Malaysia, I think they are, I don't remember, maybe number six, seven. First is Indonesia, second is USA, third, I think it's UK. And then there's other countries, India, Philippines. Well, I wish I can really go and visit uh, those, you know, beautiful people who I really admire them. You never know, maybe one day. But, you know, because what we do is very dangerous, so we have to be careful. So do we have any Muslim now? And you know, I I, I like I believe that all those countries are going to face more problems with Islamic propaganda, because you see, the more Islam get weak, the more get violence. Islam is it seek violence when it is not comfortable. You know what I mean? Because violence is the way uh, to oppress and to accomplish. So if they cannot accomplish something by without violence, then they go to violence. Violence is a tool. Terrorism is a tool. You know what I mean? So I believe that Indonesia and other countries, they will face a lot more violence in the future because they are unhappy with what's happening. As an example, the last election, as I, uh, I, I heard, it was not good for the Islamists in Indonesia. Is that correct? Is that correct, guys? Correct me, please, if I'm wrong. Like, it's not the one they want him to win. He, uh, You know, like, it's not the Muslim of them is the winner in the election. So that will make them more aggressive, and they will make them do more violence. You see, when uh, in Egypt, when the Muslim Brotherhood took over Egypt, violence almost went down to zero. Because why they will make bad security if they are in control? It's not for their benefit. The second they are out, killing is every day. Just yesterday, the, the Egyptian Muslims are celebrating what it's called the Eid, the holy day for the Muslims after Ramadan. Yet, they attack police stations and slaughter everybody in the police station. So the more you make them uh, oppressed, and oppressed here, not because you are being unjust, no, because you are practicing democracy, whatever, this is oppression for them. All right, we have somebody want to talk to us. Let us see. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, uh, somebody told me you want to uh, talk to me. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes. All right. What do you want to say? We are live on I'm air just... on YouTube, and people are listening. So, what do you want to say to them about Islam? Okay, they're listening, right? Yeah. There is something. Is there is something good about Islam? You want to share with us? No, I just, I just be on your topic. That's it. The topic, topic the topic yeah we have a topic I'm just giving you a freedom okay. if you don't want to you know the topic is yeah. that Allah if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy us mm -hmm. why you start first you start first talking about uh, faith right you said you're here to commit sins yeah okay you 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 brought a hadith of Abu Huraira right mm. right yeah okay are we going to talk okay. or you are going to take care? You say one letter and then I ask you more. Tell me what you want to say. I'm listening. What I want to say is, hmm. you 
had the debate already. You made a video. I am ultimate truth. I okay, debunked I know you. To you I, I know that's you. I know listen, it's you. Listen, now answer. Listen. Okay. See, are you, you see, going to answer or not? You're going to lose it. Hmm. Let's be human here. Let's <laughs> debate. Let's okay. be human. So, so Just you said you were answer. Be a human. Why you are be saying civilized. to me? Why you are saying to me? You made a video about it. I thought you. Now, now we are talking about it. Answer talk. it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Hmm. So, you brought that hadith, and you brought another hadith hmm. between Moses and uh, and. Um, and Adam, but discussing who that we made to that Allah had distended us to uh, to make a sin. Mm. That's that's where you got all of that. Remember, you got that hadith a couple of weeks ago. You made a video out of it mm. because you don't know what faith is about in Islam. Because you don't know what faith means in Islam, you are creating lies. So I debunked you in a video. Mm. You don't understand why you don't you, debunk you, me now. Why you don't me? debunk me now? Listen, you debunk me talking what? to yourself. What about you? Don't debunk me now. Why you debunk me by talking to yourself? Yes. Okay, okay. Here you said here we go. The hate said, in the front of you, the hate in the front of you. Go ahead, debunk. Me. Hold on, hold on. Hold. You want me to debunk you on your video, right? Let, let's talk about that faith, right? Faith, right? No, no, in front of you. This is Allah will destroy us if we don't commit sin. The mic is yours. It's all about faith, right? My friend, Allah will destroy us if we don't commit sin. The mic is yours. I'm listening. The first thing is we cannot live without sinning. Because if you don't sin, hmm. you'll be perfect. And only Allah is perfect. That, that's hmm. the first that, uh, clarification I would like to do. Hmm. A human being hmm. going to be sinning no matter what. Hmm. Why? That's, that's what you should. Why? Because you're not perfect. Hmm. That's what it is. Who is the one make you not perfect? Allah make you not perfect. Okay, so Allah make us not perfect. You cannot be perfect. So Allah, Allah is only perfect. Okay, so Allah made us not perfect. So we, in, so we will do sin. This is what you are saying. Allah He made us in purpose, not perfect. So we are going to do sin. Correct. Allah is the perfect one. Uh, if is, anyone else is, is not perfect, the they this become is, this Allah. Is, this is not the you question. Understand that? Why you Allah understand? made us? Why Allah made us not perfect? Is that a mistake from Allah or in purpose? He made us not because. Perfect? Because we, because we cannot be Allah's. Because there's only the one question. Allah. This there's is only not, one person. This is not the question. Why Allah made us not perfect? Did He make us and not perfect in purpose, because or it was a mistake, a defect, in His creation? Listen, that's very intelligent people listening to you. You know, don't ridicule yourself asking them questions. You you asked me. I said because if we become perfect, then we become in Allah's. Listen, Allah is only so perfect, you, so, so we cannot. Be so perfect. Allah saying, let's move you are on. You saying to me, Allah did not make us perfect, yep. and because we are not perfect, we will commit sin. And this is mean that He is the one who made us commit sin, according to you. What can't you understand? I don't understand. Here we go. I you're, said you're the smart one. I'm not smart. You're smart. Only you are one the one who perfect. said, okay, I oh, asked you why man. Allah He made us not perfect. Don't, you said because if He make us don't, perfect, don't we will become please. Allah. Don't, okay, don't how yell. if we make us perfect, if we don't commit sin, how that will make us Allah? Who is the stupid here? Are you stupid or what? Because if I became perfect, com commit no sin, that does not make you Allah because Allah is Almighty. I am not. So if I eat and I sleep, and I, I I don't hurt anyone. That will make me Allah. Is that what Allah for you? That's stupid of you. So what make me Allah is I can do what Allah can do. So if I can create, that will make me Allah. If I can create the whole world, that make me Allah. But if I commit no sin, that make me Allah. How stupid you are! That's that's being perfect. What? Don't you realize that? No, that will not make me Allah still. I said because because Allah, you, Allah, if He is oh God, God, if He is God, that's me. He is the Creator. Speak and let me speak and, and stop I, yelling. If I commit no I'm sin, everybody is laughing at you. You see, each time you call me, you get spanked with no mercy. If I commit okay, no sin, how that then. how that me make, and how, they just don't how, yell. how don't that yell. make me Allah? If I commit no sin, please, everybody is laughing because to be Allah, yelling, if Allah is God, is to be able to do what Allah can do. Committing sin is not necessarily that will make me Allah. Okay, okay. Now let uh, me ask you. Let me tell you do what. Do the angels commit sin in Islam? Do the angels commit sin in Islam? Let me tell you do what the is the purpose of life. Do the angels commit sin in Islam? 
Jibril used to be an angel. Satan used to be an angel. Do this in, Remember? This in Christianity. In Islam, do the angels commit sin in Islam? I said Satan used to be an angel. This is not, no, not in Islam. This is in Christianity. In Islam. You see, everybody will laugh at you in a second. You want to bet? I'm not have to bet. No, you want to bet? You, you know, I, I got a vote in okay, the Quran okay, okay, telling okay, you no, that Satan have to used to be an angel. If this is true, you open your camera and you do the monkey dance. If if I'm wrong, no, I will open the camera and I will do you. the monkey dance. Do you, That's do you simple. Agree? I made a claim. But listen, I made listen, a claim. Uh, 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 okay, hold, hold on. Do you do you do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? That's that simple, you right? said that you said that uh, uh, the shaitan he was an angel in Islam. Can you yes. prove it? To, can you prove it to us? Okay. So just let me. That's all you gotta say. So let me talk, right? Hmm. I made a claim. I said Satan used to be an angel. Where? Oh, Where? okay. Just let me tell you. Okay, Where? let me say it though. Where? You don't have to be saying yeah. I'm about to say it. You okay. you don't have to ask okay, where. I'm, I'm, I'm about to tell you where. Okay, I'm listening. Just okay. Silent mm. and let me talk. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Well, okay. Allah had decided to create Adam. He gathered all the angels. Allah said, "I gathered all the angels." I told him, "I am about to create." A Khalifa, a human being, to put him on earth. My friend, don't waste my time. Where is, where is the, where hey, is the hey, verse? Where hey, is the verse? Listen. Where you is the proof? Listen. Listen. You see, that's what, what you do. Listen, I'm about to tell you the proof. Because you're a stupid donkey. Don't, don't call don't me again. Me. You don't, want proof? You give me two minutes. Don't and I give call you me. Don't call me again. The verse, the, the, the verse in the front you of you. You don't coward. The verse in the front of you. I'm about to prove to you that that okay, Satan read, wasn't okay, an angel. Just shut up and okay, read, read the Okay, read the verse. The that. Quran says that Shaitan was of the jinn. You liar! Why you are lying? The Quran says that the angel is is not Shaitan. Isn't an angel? He is one of the jinn. Everybody is laughing no, at you. The no, verse he became a jinn after he refused. When Allah what, said, what? "Prostrate," he what? Allah he talked what? to the angel. He Allah asked the angel, <laughs> "All the angels prostrate." <laughs> <laughs> you know what now i believe that your god who made you he he, he made you with defect stupid donkey except iblis and he was one of the jinn you donkey even the muslims are laughing at you And he will call me again and he will be spanked and his ass will get red and then he come back because he want to seek revenge it's like gambling you know you go to the casino because you are stupid you're playing gambling you lose and you want to win again what you lost at least so you come back that's what he's coming back i'm not going to waste my time with a donkey i'm here to to talk to people who knows what they're talking about you don't even know anything about islam i mean debunk you in a video <laughs> uh, CP aren't apologetics supposed to be respectful and done in love I am not respectful my friend you don't you like it like it you don't like it leave <laughs> respect what respect stupidity even God he says those who don't follow Jesus are foolish Jesus said to the Jews who they are hypocrite you are the son of of a viber so what do you know about respect look like you do not know the bible my friend is it jesus say the son of vibers did i say to the guy the son of viber i mean what's wrong with the christians the christians they learn two words about jesus and they could brought to beat and jesus says love your enemy and then they come to us and say isn't it supposed brother to talk to them in love and respect no to love somebody is to spank him hard so he will wake up from the stupidity. Not say, I respect you. I don't respect him. First of all, I don't respect liars. Secondly, I don't respect deceivers. Number three, I respect nothing false. You don't like it, you can leave. And this is only what I get from the Christians. And instead of supporting me, they put you down. Like, isn't he supposed to do it to love a brother? You go, give him a hug. Go ahead. I am not giving hugs, and yet thousands of them are leaving Islam. How many of them you left Islam because of your hugs? 
<laughs> I don't give hugs. <laughs> Yet every day a Muslim is leaving Islam because of what we do. No hugs, no kisses, no mercy. Pure truth as it is. You like it, like it. You don't like it, hit your head with the wall. Never compromise with the devil. You compromise, he asks for more. That is Jesus' teaching, my friend. Now, do we have any Abdul? Why Allah, he want to destroy us if we commit sin? Look at the stupid answer. Allah, he did not make us perfect. Okay. And? <laughs> because if he make us perfect, we will be Allah. That's stupid. Okay. If I am perfect to the point I don't do commit sin, in the way you are saying, well, that will not make me God. Because still I cannot do what God do. Can I resurrect people from death? Can I give eyes to the blind? Can I heal the sick? Can I create the universe? So if I couldn't commit no sin, nothing changed till I'm a human. Stupid answer. Low, low IQ and stupidity. And this is why they are no match to talk to me. And what? Shaitan was an angel. This is in Christianity. Not in, in Islam, you idiot. Who is next? Yeah, exactly, Tommy. And according to what he said, Jesus is God because Jesus commit no sin. And right now he's in heaven. My friend, nobody can save your country except you. Next time when they have election, go and vote. All right? Nobody can save your country. What happened to your country is happened by your hands, not by the hand of others. You have a stupid counselor. She keep winning the election. Who is the one who's voting for her? You. Well, blame no one for what happened to your country. Blame yourself. And nobody can save your country except you save your country. Don't stay home and complain. Go do something. When they say that Trump, he will lose, I went and they vote. Everybody was saying Trump will lose. <coughs> CNN, everybody. <coughs> and when I went to the election, there was a lady, she is Democrat. She said to me, where are you from? I said, I'm an Arab. She said, uh, but I asked her, where is the, the, the I, am, I am Republican? She asked me. So she said, but, uh, but uh, Arab usually they vote for Democrat. I said because they are stupid <laughs> you should see her face <laughs> she looked like a rabbit and somebody spit cold water in the top of her head but Arab usually they vote for Democrat I said because they are stupid hello I'm not I would never vote for Democrats who will eat my cheese Who's next? They cannot say a racist. I'm talking about my people. I'm an Arab. Hello. <laughs> Imagine, like, I mean, sometimes, sometimes people are silly. They accuse an African to be a racist against African. I mean, that's stupid, isn't it? Accuse an Arab to be racist against. <laughs> Maybe if you see that, they will accuse you of racism. But they cannot do it to me because I am I am an Arab. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> and don't worry about what people say. Just be truthful, my friend. Be truthful. Be Christian. You know, love and like they say to you, this is not a Christian way, brother. You know? Not the Christian way. Okay, show me the Christian way. Isn't it Jesus who went inside the temple and he flipped the tables on them? 
Isn't it him who kicked them out? Isn't it him who said, you made the house of my father a bazaar? What do you know about the Christian way? Looked like Jesus himself was not a Christian to you. By the way, Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> is not Christian. <laughs> He's our Lord. Uh. <clears throat> do what you need to do. And many people will not like what you do. But I mean, who care? I do what I believe it's right. Who like it or don't like it? Eh? The Lord, the Messiah Himself. There is many don't like Him, so I'm not. I'm not better. No way. I'm twisting the scriptures. He did not hurt them. Well, I did not hurt them too. Did I hurt them, Mister Matt? Guys, did I hurt anyone? He hurt his their feeling. <laughs> Matt, don't come again into my to my chat. You are not welcome. We don't want donkeys here. Hurting the feeling and the hypocrisy is more aggressive than physical hurting. I just hurt you. I just hurt your feeling. So you might wake up. Because, you know, if Jesus did not hurt them physically, later he will. Later he will send them to hell. Who said that Jesus will not? He will come in the glory of his angels. And what will happen next? Then, then you will see what Jesus will do. So look, some false people, they try to make Jesus a, a person with one, uh, like, image. He come to this earth now. He don't judge. This is not the time of a judgment. But when Jesus the judge, he come back. No mercy. No mercy. Don't lie to yourself. Isn't it the Bible says that he will say to his angels, bring them and put them in the front of me. And what slay them that isn't the judgment day that is Jesus too but you want only one one kind of Jesus the one they taught you right hypocrite that is called justice my friend everyone will get what he deserve And you know, like when Jesus, he is warning them, even when he was on the cross, even after they hurt him physically, he said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. He was speaking specifically about those group and in the front of him, they were shouting for his death. Any Muslim? So if we go back to the topic. If we go back to the topic, we will notice that everything Islam teaches is stupid. If you don't commit sin, Allah will punish you. If you commit sin, Allah will punish you. So what we will do? Yes, a brother. Brother. He's using the internet of the neighbors. They don't pay for internet. It's very hard to find one of them. He is not using the Wi-Fi of the neighbor. 
even Muhammad, he used the Wi-Fi of the Jews, Jibreel. Did Muhammad get his connection? No, Jibreel. Okay, who is Jibreel? He didn't know. Even the Wi-Fi of Muhammad, it is not his own. Jibreel. Mikhail. Where do you get this Wi-Fi from? He searched. He searched. Okay, Wi-Fi. Yeah, there's a Jewish neighbor. Okay, he have a Wi-Fi. It says Jibreel. Let me connect to Jibreel. He hijacked Jibreel, and he claimed that this is his own. If you ask the Muslim what Jibreel means, they don't know. Because they hide, they hide you know, imagine somebody he named a Wi Fi, but you do not know what the name means. Because this is not his Wi Fi, this is the neighbor. Let us call this. Uh... Yes, I do. Why, why you want? Uh, hello. Don't open the camera for me. Hey. And what, what, is, what is that? You are in, you are in your panty. What is that? No, I did not see anything. Say what? So what? Why you are calling me? No, give me a second, man. Give me a second, brother. Let me open this, man. This is what happened. Can you use the internet of the neighbors. I told you. Here we go. They were controlling your camera and they opened the camera for you without your permission. Yes, but they, they can, they can. Mm. I watch so, me by a neighbor. So man. what do you want to say to me? Why you are, why, what do you want to say? I want to say, man, uh, brother, I had to do something now. So um, you have to do something now. No, I had to do something. So you are calling me so to tell me you have to do, ah, ah you want to tell me you did not run away. Ah, you had to do something. <laughs> okay. All right. So, do Allah come in a shape or he don't come in a shape? Look, look, brother. Brother, if I cannot you, If look. you say shape, yeah. If I, you, I cannot, if, I cannot if Allah, Do Allah come in a shape? Your prophet said, read carefully. Allah will come to them in a shape. Okay. Do the prophet say the truth that Allah will come in a shape, but or he is not saying the truth. I think I think you're bullying right now, man. You're bullying right now because it's it's not a shape, man. It's How okay. many times do I have to tell you it's not a shape? What? What you mean what? What? It's, what, it's what, not what a shape. Answer? Allah, he said. Allah, Prophet, he said. Do you know more than Allah, Prophet? Allah, Prophet said, Allah will come to them in a shape. What does that mean? <clears throat> So so um let's say let's say uh mm. he comes in that shape mm. but it, it isn't a shape like we think it what is the word that shape, it does. what the word like, shape in English mean? Only Allah knows only God knows man. only Allah knows what shape the word shape in English knows why Allah is the one who made the English well, what the word shape mean. It's probably spirit to something, I don't know. What suddenly you don't speak our English now? Shape, what shape? Shape is a dimension, physical dimension, isn't it? Yeah, for us because we're gonna interact with him. Well, he's it's speaking not to us. Like, he's not speak. Um, he's not speaking to 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 uh, to uh, you know. He's speaking to us. So when he uses our language, he's speaking to us. So when he says shape, shape is a physical dimension. What is the physical dimension of Allah? Let me see. Let me see. Wait. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me guess what will happen. He will hang up, and you say to me, I have to do something. No, I will never hang up. I'm not afraid of you. You will man. never hang up? You. you hang it already more than 200 times already. What are you talking about? It's recorded. <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. That's not, not true. true, not true. Yeah, not true. So, okay, show the shape of Allah, which is a physical dimension. What is that shape? And why you Muslims, you will throw rocks at him? Why you will kick the um, why you will kick the bum of Allah and you will say to him you are not Allah. All right, let, let's say let's say Allah comes in a shape. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you for the sake of this argument, mm. but I do not agree. But let, let's say I agree. No, you have to so agree. No, I don't, I, don't, shape, I don't. I don't. I don't like that. Either you say he come with a shape, be truthful, or say it doesn't say that. Don't tell me I'm going to agree for you with you for the sake of this is a lie. This is hypocrisy. It says in the front of you he will come to them in a shape. 
So you are not agreeing with me when you agree with that because you are agreeing with the prophet, not with the Christian prince. For the one who said that is Muhammad. All right, let's say, uh, okay, okay, he comes in his shape, all right? So you agree now there, with your prophet. You agree with your prophet. I'm going to explain to you. Hmm. So if they if they gonna if the most high is gonna come in shape, then he won't be limited as if he doesn't know anything what he used to know before. He will still be all knowing, all okay. powerful, and everything. So Allah all, now, okay, all, I, okay, all, I get you, I get you. This is a very smart answer actually. You're a genius. So guys, Allah is in a box. Okay. He knows okay. everything out the box. Imagine. Hold on, hold on. This is what you say to me. This is what you say to me. He is in a shape. He's inside the box, but still he can know everything inside outside the, the box. But that would not change the fact that he have a shape. Why he have a shape? What what you want to do right now is uh, like put the Jesus argument Trinity that God came in. Don't change the topic. The, the in Christianity, in Christianity, in Christianity, God he 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 is in a, he came as a person, is a man. In Islam, do you have that? Shape, do you have right, that? That's a shape, so right? so why you are is rejecting? That a shape? Okay, so you reject is that a shape? this is a shape. This is a shape. Yes. So are you agreeing that Allah has a shape the same as Jesus? Do you agree that Allah has a no. shape the same as Jesus? No, no, no. What do you mean no? It's in the front no. of you. Because because no, because Jesus is limited. He was limited to God. What Allah limited? Your God is limited. No. Okay, here what we go. Mean, when Allah he, he can do them, whatever. Hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me prove to you that Allah. Let me prove to you that Allah Allah is limited. Let me prove it to you. You want to prove it to you? Allah in the Quran said, if you actually in the in the week hadith, if you don't believe in Allah, Allah will erase our face details. Is that true? Wait, let me let me open YouTube, man. Give me a second, brother. Hmm. Okay, um, hmm. I see a rap words, man. Hmm. Uh, here, here, in this verse in the Quran. Look, Allah said, if you win, if you want, if you will wish, He can make them blind. Can Allah do that? Can Allah make somebody blind? Of course, He just okay. says, Be it is. Okay, thank you very much. So, how you explain this verse to me? The other verse, this is not the verse actually I want to show you. This is verse. Okay, the first one was a trap. Chapter 4, verse number 47. It says, Allah He said to the Christian and the Jews, if you don't believe in you Muhammad, cannot, hold on. This is my environment, man. You cannot trap me in my environment. Oh, no, it's a trap. I will go. I let us, know this let us see. Let us see. Allah said to the Christian and the Jews, if you don't believe in Muhammad, oh Christian and Jews, Allah will erase the details of your face. He will make you with no eyebrows, with no eyes, with no mouth, with no nose. By the way, I, yeah. I don't have a mouth now. Allah took it off. So Allah will do all of this. Even and not only that, yes. he will make our face because, in our, in our neck. Why? Because you know why? He will make our face in our neck. How come he could not do it? He you know because of, you know be, uh, because why? Should I because explain what? To you why? Because what? No, uh, should I explain to you why? Okay. Explain. So I'll, I'll ask you this question for this. Hold on, hold on. What, 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 what do you mean you ask me question? Explain to me. Don't ask me questions. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm Allah, he said. Question. Allah, he said. If you don't believe in Muhammad now, speaking to the Christian in the time of Muhammad, I will erase your eyes, your mouth, your nose, and I will make you backward, forward, and I will make your nose go inside your head. By the way, my nose is inside my head now. Why Allah did not do that? Yes. Let, let me explain, man. Uh, okay. Please. Uh, okay. Okay, so I, I will give you two million dollars if you give me my two eyes. I will shave my I will shave my twenty foot beard if you have if you have a, a, a one thousand dollar in your pocket. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, so no, I'm telling Allah, you, he threat the Christians. He will erase their faces, their face, their eyes, their mouth, their nose. He will make it backward, forward. Eyes, man. Okay, how Allah he curse us and he threat us if we don't believe in Muhammad now. He would do that to us, but yet he could not do it to one of us. No, right. that's not true. It will be and when the time comes. This is man. not about the judgment. They don't be a liar. It says it's the same as I did to the people of the Sabbath. The people of the Sabbath, he cursed them. He made them pigs and monkeys, and this is not in the judgment day. Stop lying. No, no, no. Look, look, look. It says what? They no, no, no. You so became what? a cat now? No, 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 no. Not now, no, no. It says now. 
all, all Christian, all that, Jews. Uh, the same as I did, the same as I did to who? To the Jews who I made them pigs and monkeys. So this has happened not in the judgment day. Something happened immediately because they disobey him. Why he could not do it? Your God Allah is a liar. Oh, well, if I tell you, if I tell you, um, let me bring something up uh, real quick. Uh, um, uh, if you don't steal my stuff, if you steal my stuff again, I'm gonna kill you. Just like I killed Jack from two weeks ago. Who stole my? What? What's the one? That doesn't mean I'm gonna kill you right now. No, when you steal again, yes, yes. He threat not because this has nothing to do with the judgment day yet. The judgment day still, he will burn them. He will put a chain in their anus. Good for you. You will have a chain in your anus. What do you want more? And look here. He is saying, I'm going to do this and this and this and this only for the Christian and the Jews. But this is now if they don't believe in Muhammad. What happened? Can you show me one Christian this has happened to him? It will happen. It will happen. When? When? When time comes, man. The friend, my friend, the, the people who they are in the time of Muhammad already dead. Allah will erase their faces when after they die. They are dead. They will get, res they will get um, like this. This is not about the day of resurrection. This is about now. Yeah, he's saying the same as I did to the people of the Sabbath. The people of the Sabbath, he did that to them when they are alive, not later, not in the judgment day. Already they are pigs and monkeys. They are done. Oh, oh, oh so what this is this talking about? See, my I brother. just noticed. I it's just actually noticed, talking about the thing. I just noticed that you are drinking camel urine because this. Oh, now you got it? After all this explanation, now you got it? This camel <laughs> urine effect. Now listen, it says it clearly the same <laughs> as the one we cursed. And who of course because of the Sabbath so he would do the same to them the same what does that mean this is not the time of the judgment day this is the same the same they are done with the punishment already Allah he punished them immediately because they are breaking the Sabbath all right so it is actually happening to happen to Christians. You know why? When, 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 because, when, uh, when it happened to Christian, I, it says, I'll show it, you, says I'll show you. it says, it says he will, he will erase our mouth. He will erase our eyes. He will erase why, our eyebrows. Why does a statistics? What? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain you why does a statistics? The statistics, yeah. Listen carefully now. Statistic. It's important. So why does the statistics show <laughs> that Christians have the uh, most? Most can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> don't just don't Hello? fart, please. Okay, go ahead. I hear you. <laughs> no, am I lagging or something, man? Well, like, what is what is statistic? The statistics that says that there is there's a Christian, they have their face in their back of their neck. The statistic they says that the Christian they have no <laughs> mouth, their nose, their no eyes. You, man? Huh? No, no, uh, look, 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 no, this real, this real. <laughs> Uh, the statistics show that the Christians make the most uh, car accidents in the highway. And what happens when you, when you have a car my accident? Why you, uh, why my, you like my, my, on the highway uh, riding three hundred miles okay. per hour? Your uh, your face will just go away, man. Your nose will go inside of your head, and you know this. this <laughs> I, I mean, here we go. I mean, what I can say, <laughs> brother, he know a Christian. He have an accident in the highway, <laughs> and he lost his face. So that is the proof, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wait, <laughs> uh, hey, By oh. the way, what's your name? Mirza, man, Mirza. Mirza. Is that a, so actually? It's uh, is, that a, is, is, is that an, is that a name or Allah curse you? Um, like is that a defect? I don't know, man. It's, it's, like, are you Mirza by just a name, man. are you Mirza by choice or Allah cursed you uh? to make you Mirza? What happened to you? Allah, Allah made you Mirza, well, or you chose to be Mirza? No, my auntie. Okay, my let, aunt, like let me ask you. Would be if somebody, if somebody, uh, okay, it, it, if somebody raised his head before the imam finish, if somebody raised his head before the imam finish, is it true that Allah will make his face a face of a donkey? Uh? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh? If somebody raises his head before <laughs> the Imam finish the prayer, is it true that Allah will make his face the face donkey. of a donkey? Wait, he was uh, uh, lagging a bit. Uh, a lagging, lagging, yeah, lagging, yeah, lagging, yeah. I'm saying, but, is it true? Is it true? If you if you what? raised your head in the mosque before the leader of the prayer finished the prayer. Allah will make your face a face of a donkey and a head of a donkey. Yes or no? 
I swear to God, the last time I didn't hear if you last time you repeat. I swear, last time you repeat, and then okay, yes. okay. Uh, you, Please, yeah. I, Allah no, Prophet, no, brother. Allah Prophet. He said, if you raise your head, brother, before the Imam finish the prayer, Allah will curse you and will make your head the head of a donkey. Now, did you hear it? Oh, 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 oh. So, so oh, let's say the Imam that will, is a dog thing. Uh, right? Ah, uh, so, so we down, mm. and then let's say the Imam is gonna go up, and then I go swift. I will, I'll go quicker. Hmm. I don't more energy. I go quick up. Okay. But it, it does make no. I'm in the hadiths, but that's go against the Quran, man. When the Quran doesn't Wait, say kill Muslims, the Quran. Uh, the Quran. Get we just showed you the Quran. Allah quicker, curse man. people for doing things, and He changed their face. They change their look. What does that is the Quran? And look with me. Are you saying the Prophet is a liar? This is Sahih Bukhari. So I want you to open the camera Sahih. for me. Uh, hold on, hold on. Did you ever raise your head before the Imam? Be honest with me. Did you ever raise your head before the Imam? Uh, sometimes I'm quick, man. So you have uh, a head you know, of a donkey. I want to do okay. It so that's mean. Because if you, it's hurting that's mean. If you're a prophet telling the truth, now you would have a head of a donkey. Open the camera for us. Either the prophet <laughs> is right. Man. What you just said to me? Hey, you raised hey, your head hey, before no, the imam, so guys. Did he say sometimes he's so quick? He he raised his head before the imam. Okay, so if this is, is if, if this is what you did, that's mean if the prophet is a truthful, he is not a liar. Then your head should be the head of a donkey. Actually, I noticed something by the way. I could not recognize when the camera opened. I saw a donkey. I thought maybe it's a horse. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> Show your face, man. I'm more handsome than no, you. No, I'm man. asking I'm, you. I'm, you're I'm, a prophet. You're a prophet. You I'm, said this will happen to you. Did, did it happen to you? Does that happen to you? Be honest. Do you have a head of a donkey now? It probably happened to you, man. No, I'm asking. I'm serious. I'm not, I want to. I want to convert. To, I want to convert to Islam, brother. So, are you because you rest your head as you said before the Imam? You are fast. Did Allah make you so handsome and so beautiful, like a donkey? Look, look. This, this thing. Look, look, look. I'm done with the look, look. Says, brother. Brother. It says, brother. I'm really upset from you. Did Allah make make did Allah make, <laughs> did Allah make the head, your head as a head of a donkey? Either you say yes or you say no. Huh? He hang up. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a stupid cult man. What's wrong with the Muslims, Abdul? Why you hang up? Why you hang up? Brother. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, what this is a prophet of God. He's trying to scare them, you know, poor people, naive people in the cave time. If you raise your head before I finish the prayer, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. Oh, 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 okay. That's true. Brother, it's happening. Brother, this is true. Look at your face. If you don't believe me, look at Ahmadinejad. Look at Osama bin Laden. This is true, brother. And this is a prophet. Here we go. I see you in the camera now. That's wonderful. Hello. I believe you now that you have the face of a, exactly as the prophet said. I saw your face. Hello. Yeah, hello, hello. Okay. Yeah, hello. I saw your face exactly. The prophet yes. was truthful, guys. The prophet no, was truthful. I, I saw your face in the camera. Don't no. lie. I saw your camera. Guys, the prophet was a truthful. I saw a donkey. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, brother, brother, I want to have a I want to have a conversation with you, brother, because no you, problem. You I'm a having a conversation with you, but the problem is it's a miracle. It's not, how and, you and have a head, how you have a head of a donkey, yet you can speak my language, brother. Close, man. I'm getting punched because, because you're lying. You're lying. I'm lying about what? It's in the front of your eyes. Read it. 
let me open the YouTube, man. Okay, open YouTube. Open YouTube. Because now we, we have to use donkey language. YouTube. Not YouTube. There's YouTube for donkeys and there's YouTube for a human. Open YouTube. Uh, all right. All right. So what? I'm, I'm on YouTube. Oh, narrated Abu Huraira. Right? Mm -hmm. It, so, it sounds good with you. I see like the okay, Horaira. The okay, they say it differently from us. Horaira. Okay, say it again because you have a long mouth. I agree. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Horaira. See what the benefit of having a head of a donkey. Look, Horaira. Okay. So according to Abu Horaira, what happened? Go continue. Read, read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see your tactics, man. I see text you're afraid that I'm gonna refute you. Okay, is this... re re refute me, <laughs> refute me. Go ahead, brother, because you have a long mouth now, long, long head. He says, you, re you are going to refute me. Look how long it's because, because the word takes long time to get out. Refute me, Horreira. Okay, refute me. I'm listening. Go ahead. Sahih al Bukhari called to praise at the hand. Okay, the Prophet said, Isn't uh, he who raised his head before the Imam afraid that um, Allah may um, transform his head into that of a donkey or his figure face into that of a donkey? Now, what this is saying, it's not literal, man. If, 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 if. So what it's, is, true, you know okay, why? it's not literal, brother. It's not literal. So what it's mean? Allah will make you as a donkey, face a donkey. He said that. Did he say a head of a donkey, a face of a donkey? Did he say that? No, 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 no. Because if if you know, it, you no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, uh, say, say it again. Say it again. The, the, no, no, no. You say it because this is the donkey style. <laughs> say it again. What? No, 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 no. It says <laughs> in the front. <laughs> it says in the front of us a figure and a head of a donkey, and you are saying to me, it say, does it say transform? Does it say transform? And you say to me like, no, 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 no. I, I mean, man, you resemble him very much. What do you mean? No, 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 no. <laughs> brother, brother, look. Uh, hmm. uh, you know, a donkey. If I if I go to someone and say he's a donkey, acts like a donkey, it's like he should be ashamed. You know why? Because if you go no, pray, he's yeah, saying, which, he's saying he will we'll transform your head. He will transform your head. He spoke specifically about something. It's your head. And so, he said, so, so, uh, 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 what? I don't know. Hopefully. So, all right, all right. So, um, if I go to the mosque here yeah, mm. to pray, mm. I'm gonna pray for my the Most High. I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna thank Him. I'm gonna worship Him mm. for His sake. But if I'm there and I just wanted to be over so quick, and I'm just gonna do it real quick because so people recognize me mm. praying, and then mm. go back to house, mm. the, you know, then you should be ashamed. You should be. <laughs> what happened to you? Look like. It. Look like it's working. The donkey think it's working. This is exactly the sound of it. Open the camera again. Open the camera. And see what's happening. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a stupid religion. <laughs> He is laughing, he cannot handle it because he cannot take it no more. I am the only one who make Muslims laugh at their stupid cult. Nobody can do that like me. You have to, you have to face it. I mean, yeah, it's a stupid. Look at this. So now you are a human. Look, this guy is wearing a jacket. Huh? Huh? You are a human, but your head is a head of a donkey. Nice to meet you. Brother, are you a Muslim donkey, brother? Yes, brother. Brother, how it happened to you? How come you have a body of a human, but you have a head of a donkey, brother? Brother, it's very simple. Because the Prophet, he said in the Hadith, in Tahir Bukhari, that if you read your head before the Imam, Allah will curse you, and he will transform your head into a head of a donkey. Man. True story.
And if you notice when he read, he read like a donkey, like Abu Huraira, because his his head is his mouth is long, not like us. So I take like Huraira, you know, not like us Huraira, Huraira. This is what your prophet is saying. All of this will happen to you because you raise your head before the imam. What if you raise your ass? What will what he will do to your ass? Question, question. If you raise your head, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. If you raise your ass, Allah will make you uh, <laughs> Allah will make your ass what? As ass of a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy so you go to the prayer brother and you are going to pray for Allah brother and then after you go to pray a pray and I should not say it this way but so because it's the bent which one you turn up first if you turn your face up first, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. But what if you turn off, turn up your ass first? Obviously, Allah will make your ass the ass of a donkey. Takbir. <laughs> I mean, this is so good to be true, man, brother. This is so good to be true. I mean, this prophet, brother, he knows everything. And he is obviously not lying. All of this is proven scientifically to be true and accurate. Who can deny such a reality? Nobody can deny the reality. Hmm? Who is a Muslim agree with his prophet? <clears throat> What will happen if you put your hand up first? Allah will make you have a hoof? Hmm? We have only 621 likes, all of this. This is the best comedy show ever you can get for your lifetime. Go watch the New Year comedy show. It's nothing, it's boring. You die, you know, here you die laughing, there you die boring. I mean, come on. Okay, let me do this. If you don't give us a like right now, I will ask Allah to curse you and make your head the head of <laughs> Joe bite me. <laughs> or you know what? Let me curse you the worst curse. I curse you to look like Christian Prince if you don't give a like. Me, that's disgusting. That's horrible. There's a guy I know, his mother, she cursed him to look like me. He commits suicide after that. And this is a true story. He woke up in the morning, he looked at this guy at the mirror, and he found he looked like me. He killed himself. He said, like, Whoa, what happened? No way, please. But it's too late, that's it. It's a curse. So be happy, uh, brother. Allah will make you have a head of a donkey, and donkeys are very handsome, very beautiful. <clears throat> By the way, I'm going to sell out my pictures for those who don't feel good about themselves. We use it as a therapy. You look at my picture, you feel good. You see right away, you see like, man, I feel better now. I'm really handsome. So if you're interested, you know, please let me know. We, we can, we, but you have to pay a very expensive because that will make you feel better for the rest of your life. And again, you can use it for security. <laughs> you put my my picture in your in your door or in your especially in your door if you are married. Your mother-in-law she will never get in. That's it. Tell her he is in. He is in. Like under the picture. Tell her he is in. Bye bye. Now, do we have any Muslim want to say something? I'm sure now each one of you is saying like, how does this guy look like? Unbelievable. Don't please ask me. Don't remind me. 
I have a headache just talking about it now. Unbelievable. Please, like, just change the topic. It's not my fault anyway. <laughs> it's my dad and my mom. Not enough, I am born as an Arab. In the top of that, look, things happened. What we can do? Now, we have any Muslim here. <clears throat> Muhammad, he prophesied <laughs> the fire of Hijaz. <laughs> the only prophecy I see here that uh, people, they will burn their gas from farting. What fire of Hijaz? What are you talking about? Oh, boy. I'm drinking tea. Anyone want some? Don't, don't worry. You will not die if you drink my tea. We mix it with no poison. We are Arab. We don't use poison. We use poison only with our friends, relatives, and family. And you are not an, any of them. So don't worry. This is why the Prophet was killed by poison. Any Muhammadan? You always joke about yourself, but you know truly you are handsome. Hmm. Tell my mom. You don't believe that. <laughs> Last time I asked a woman to marry me, she said, why? There's no men left. Brother, come on. We have to be truthful, brother. <laughs> it's not good to lie. Now, do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? Any two? Any three? Any four? Any five? Any seven? Nobody? Come on, Muslims. And you know, the, the, but the most funny Muslim ever is the guy who, uh, <laughs> this guy, Ultimate. I refuse, I did debunk you in the video. What you did? I did debunk you in the video. I'm going to promote this video. What, again, brother, what you did? I did debunk you in the video. Okay, why you don't debunk me here? I debunk you in the video. Okay, what about here? Okay, uh, uh, you don't let me talk. <laughs> Do you eat pork? <clears throat> Do I eat pork? I eat pork, but it's a different kind of pork. I eat uh, only um, halal, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm very conservative Muslim. I eat only halal uh, pork. And I respect only people who eat halal pork. If it's not halal, I don't really like to eat it. Okay. Halal pork is, uh, you know, it's lawful and it's approved. Right? What, you think I'm, I'm, I'm kidding? Yeah, there is a halal pork. We just showed you a picture of it just a few days ago. Before God. Did you forget? Oh boy! Here we go. I will show. You, I will show you a copy of my last shopping. Okay. Where is my pork? Here we go. In Europe right now, they are selling halal pork. I mean, everything become high tech. Do you see it? Halal pork. 5 euro, 5.46 euro. Do you see it? This is real. Halal pork. I mean, technology, my brother, it does a lot of uh, changes in, in the world. No, I'm not joking. This is halal pork. You know, they book a sticker, halal pork and the pork. Actually, the Minister of Trade of Putin in Russia, he advised the president to import pork to the Muslim countries. <laughs> but it's halal pork. I'm very serious. This is a sticker from food. This is sausages. 
as you see and this is sold in Germany you know those European stores they know Muslim they buy anything it have halal just put halal halal in shoes halal in jeans hmm? me myself I saw a sticker of halal on a shoe as if you are going to eat it This guy is calling. Yes, Abdul. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Alaykum, salam. What happened? Where do you go? Uh, I had to do something, brother. Brother, Someone always called. you hang up on me, and you say to me, "I never hang up on you." Do you remember? Just... I didn't hang up. I was yeah. getting called, and the call actually automatically went away. I didn't hang up. You did not say to I, me, I, I have to go. You did not say anything. You just left. You hang up. No, I didn't hang up. It's recorded. It's rec up. You did not say anything. You, it's recorded. You did not say anything. Okay, so now what do you what do you think about the head of a donkey? No, no. I, I was uh, <laughs> when I uh, came back. I was uh, I saw your live stream still okay, going on. Ask you, I personalized. Let me ask you a question. A picture. I saw a picture. I saw a picture. It says Halal P O R C. Uh, that's pork in German or something, right? Yeah, this is pork in German. Did you did you eat it? Did you try it? It's it's delicious. Did you uh, try it? Now listen, brother. I will I will explain you. You think that is uh, a haram or something? I will explain to you if you let me. All right. Go ahead. Okay. So um, it, all right. Let's say let's say you were in a shop, right? You got bread, everything, every meat, but there's also a vegetarian meat and as a muslim if those meat are not halal you can eat the veg eat the vegetarian one because it's it's meat but it's not meat it's just made up meat so you can also make up pork but if it's not pork but you just like uh, you know though like vegetarian meat man you just instead of vegetarian meat vegetarian pork or something but it's not pork but it says pork you know ah it's not pork but it's pork it does it it's it says shape but it's not the shape it's a head of a donkey but it's not the head of a donkey but the brother do you see it says meat like it's a, look, look, this is meat do you see it's a meat we can see it in the picture i mean come on what do you mean it's a pork but not pork it could be, it could, it could, it could be the vegetarian thing right it's brother, just made up. do you see any vegetable there brother it's meat this is so no, not... brother <laughs> this is so as a brother what the, what what vegetarian so Hey brother, do you see do you see any vegetarian there, there brother? Come on. Okay. I can see. Hmm. Look, uh, brother man, take um, um if I um, can bring you something. Uh vegetarian. Don't break the keyboard, man. Since you became have a head of a donkey, you became so heavy in the board. What happened to you? What? Uh, don't change the topic. Uh, what? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Have you ever heard of a rat? He is a Muslim. A rat. A four? Rat, rat, rat. Huh? Rat. rat. Yeah. A rat. Oh, no. What do you mean, rat? Rat, like, you know, you know now you no. don't know what rat is. Rat, no, I never, a rat what? and mice. Oh, the, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, are you serious? You do not know what right now? Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. So, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Look in his language, by the way. If you want to say a rat, you have to say, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Remember that. Don't say a rat. Say, do you ever see, oh, oh, yeah, yeah? It will say, yeah, yeah, you oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, you know what is that. Okay. What no, 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 did, no, no, did, did, Allah, did Allah make anyone? Did Allah make anyone rats? Look, uh, what look? Depends. If oh, they, okay, if they wicked man, what? If, if they they're wicked, of course, man. They make them lose and red. So Allah he made wicked. people rats. Who are the those who Allah he made them rats? Do you know? You can't do that. You can't do that. Why should he? Animals to rats, humans are worse than animals because uh, when before Allah created us, He told us, Yeah, mm -hmm. great if, if you choose human, you can be greater than the angels or lower than the animals. You keep saying to me, Allah, He asked us, You know, how Allah He before He created us, He asked us, We are not exist. What's wrong with you? 
So Allah, before He created you, He asked you what you like to be, but you don't exist. He asked who? Um, yo, yo, he said, yo, like, yo, yeah, yeah. You are you there? Yo, yo, yeah, yeah. Or human. Said, and if you choose human, no, no. You could either be. I, and I know, I know. He asked, okay, you repeat that always. Because Allah, what? how what? Allah asks us if you would like to be human or uh, angels, if we aren't exist yet, this is before He create us. He asked us before He create us how He can do that. We aren't there. We ask who? Ah. Ah. Who? Nay, nay, ah, nay. What? what? <laughs> no, because, because. He can do whatever he wants, but you are not there. You are, you, are not created, you are not created yet. So he asked, Who he's talking to himself? You think Allah is crazy, isn't he? Maybe Allah, he was standing in front oh, of the mirror. Look, look, hold on. I think Allah was I standing asked, in front of the mirror and he was saying, Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, 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 oh, oh, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. And then he came to the conclusion, Okay, I will make them a human because they choose to be human, but he's talking to no one. You are not created yet. So, what, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Allah, he was asking who? There's no human yet to ask them. Nobody there to ask them if you want to be human or angels. Um, uh, uh -oh. Let's say I agree with you on this. I would still put this argument up front. Okay. Allah let knows what I would say in that position. Let us go back to the rats. Let go back to the rats. Let us go back to the rats. You would know that I would be okay. in a position. What about the rats? How, how your prophet discovered that there's a human who Allah cursed them and made them rats? What? What? What do you mean? Show respect, uh, man. Don't tell me what. What? Who, who? This is the prophet talking. How the prophet he discovered that Allah he made some certain people into rats. How he discovered that? He can't do that because oh, why do they use rats in laboratories, man? Why rats? Why not other animals? Is is that because he's close to humans? Me. I never thought about this. No, but be because rats, if you kill them, nobody complain. They are they are, they are harmful animal and they breed very fast. And your prophet, he said, oh, it's not your prophet actually, it's somebody else. He said that somebody cursed somebody and he made him a rat because uh, he don't drink uh, alcohol and that's mean he is a religious Jew. Do you believe in that? If somebody don't drink alcohol, that mean this rat is a religious Jew? Uh, if, a rat, if, a, if a human, uh, what is that? If a rat, he is not a drinking alcohol. Does that mean he's a Muslim? Oh, if a rat, yeah. If a rat is not a drinking alcohol, does that mean he's a Muslim? So let's say I got I got uh, one rat in the cage and I got a human next to that rat, and then Allah does something and that human uh, becomes this a rat. Question. This is the question. And that human, this is, this is that not, human was become this, a human again. This is not that, the question. That rat, this is not the question. That, no, if, I'll, I'll if explain a, to you. I'll explain there, to you. If there is a, a human if, again, if so a, he's if, gonna he's still gonna follow the laws of Allah to become human again. Of course, that rat who was a human before he's not gonna drink alcohol <laughs> or eat pork. Wow. So if a rat he was a human before he will not drink alcohol if he believes if he was a believer he oh. knows it's a true ah, and now he's gonna he is a muslim rat he's a, he's, a, he's a muslim rat i got you okay he's a believer Guys, he's a rat he's a rat he is a rat and he is a muslim okay i got it look at this hadith with me your prophet he said he discovered that some jews allah he made them rats because they don't drink they don't drink she camel what do you think about that? They don't drink. So, so only people from Judah, huh? Or they... yeah, they are Jewish. They are Jewish. They are Jewish. Allah, He made them uh, rats. Jewish, and how? Right. And how the Prophet discovered that they are rats because they don't drink she camel milk. Let me see. Oh, is this Sahih? Oh yeah, this is Sahih. Are you sure about that? I am not really sure. To be honest with you, because the one who gave us this hadith is a donkey. I would not. Uh, if a, a Christianity doesn't make you as sure about anything, man. No, we know we're gonna go. We, are yeah, we know the truth. We, are we know the final rules. It's you who is. Are you sure? It's you who is not sure. Are you sure? Because look how stupid what you just said. Yeah. You are the one is asking me. You're a prophet. Words if it is sure or not, and you are saying to me, we are not the one is not sure. It is you who just said to me. Are you sure that this is a correct story when the prophet of Islam is the one who said the story? So who is the donkey here? Now I believe the prophet was saying the truth when he said that if you raise your head, he will make a head of your Muslim as a head of a donkey and you became one. 
<laughs> no, but it isn't literal. I told you it was my friend. You are the one uh, saying to me that uh, are you sure that this story is a correct story? I said to you, I'm not sure. And then you said to me, you Christians in Christianity, nothing is sure. But the fact we are talking about Islam, and you are the one is asking me, are you sure this is correct? So you Muslims are not sure about Islamic stories because Islamic story is stupid, and you Muslims are confused. Thank you. Now go ahead, read it. Yes, I am sure. According to your Muslims, Sahih al Bukhari, he said that you're a prophet. He was observing a bunch of rats. Look, the prophet is a thinker. He was a he, he was in the Islam in Allah laboratory, and he noticed like there's a rat. This rat he come and he sniff. He sniff. <coughs> you know, he get a closer and closer, and then the rat. If you put in the front of him a she camel milk, he don't drink it. But if you put a normal milk of a sheep, he drink it, and then the prophet is the oh no, oh boy. Con oh, conclusion, man. conclusion. The they must be, they must be Jewish because Jewish don't drink camel milk too. I mean, your prophet is genius, man. So if the Jews don't drink camel milk, that's mean the rat, the rat is a Jewish and he is Orthodox Jews. What what if what if that wasn't actually like literal? It just was just like uh, no. It's Ma not saying that he was. was don't, don't, don't tell me that it's a metaphorical. It says it clearly it's awesome. that's, that's, that he Allah he cursed them. And he made yes, metaphorical. That, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. I ah, you just helped your enemy, man. Metaphorical. Yeah, that's metaphorical, man. Well, how it's metaphorical? It's metaphorical. How it is metaphorical? Uh, the metaphorical. He was watching but, uh, a rat. The he was watching the, a rat. The hadith are metaphorical. The Quran is literal. The hadith are metaphorical. How many times are? Uh, Get lost. <laughs> Even this is metaphorical. You see how they cover the shame and the stupidity of their prophet? Even this is a metaphorical. So if we put in the front of a donkey whiskey and water, he drank the water, he did not drink the whiskey. Does that mean he's a Muslim donkey? Which is that, man? What is that? I mean, your prophet is a genius. He is really a genius. Me. Okay, let us do this. So if we bring a mosquito and we put she milk in the front of the mosquito, she will not drink it. <laughs> Does that mean she is a Jew? <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I think we are done for today. I hope you guys you have a good fun and good time. Don't forget to subscribe and share the, the video by downloading, not by sharing a link. And we have only 734 like after all of this unbelievable anyway who care uh please download the video the video will disappear in a few hours from now from my channel download it share it with your friends and let us do the good work for those who care for doing the good work i just received a message from somebody he used to be a muslim and he said he converted to islam in the year 2012 actually he wanted to talk to me and he was a muslim until a few days ago and look like today he decided to, as I understand from his uh, text, uh, I will not show uh, his name. Uh, <clears throat> he said here, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I become a Muslim in 2012, but I am not a scholar, neither I have a knowledge. And today he texts me again saying, just let you know, even if you don't mind, I leave the cult of Islam and I accept Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. All right. Well, happy for you, my friend. And he got my Spanish book too from Amazon. That's wonderful. Happy for you. And I hope more and more people will leave this stupid cult. They try to deceive you and they deceive many. And we are here the guardian to save the one who is deceived and to protect the one who is not deceived yet. And what we do is extremely important. Let your children, your wife, your family watch our videos. Get my books. My videos are for free. So I have thousands and thousands of them. Endless. 
I don't know even how many I have. So let us not to, free, to be foolish. Let let you know how a foolish man like Muhammad can fool me. That is a shame. How a foolish man like this man can make me fool for a second. How we human beings can be deceived so easy. It's time to wake up. It's time to do some good work and save them as guided. Thank you, everybody, for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And feel free to read my books from Amazon.com and the glorify the Lord. And don't forget to make a review of what we do. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.